the following question is about moles and uh, balancing equations. So uh, the question reads that in historically famous experiment, uh, Wohler heated inorganic ammonium cyanate. So there's a substance called ammonium cyanate, which is being heated in the absence of air. So nothing is added. It's just ammonium cyanate that is being heated. And the only product of the reaction was organic urea, which is CONH2 brackets 2 and no other products were formed. So this is a simple reaction. You have ammonium cyanate and we don't know what ammonium cyanate is and it's being heated. Nothing is being added. There's absence of air. So, so the only product is uh, organic urea which is CO and NH2 brackets so this is the organic urea and we have to figure out what is the formula of the cyanate ion and that's what we have to figure out now if you look at the reaction you would notice that we don't know what cyanate is so this is the this is the question mark we need to figure out what cyanate is but we know what ammonium is which is in its four plus so let's try and balance this equation let's say this is in its four plus and we don't know what cyanate is. Let's call that X. And this thing is being heated and it's producing CONH2. Brackets 2. Now, if this is a balanced reaction, there are a total of two nitrogens over here in the products. There are four hydrogens. And there's one carbon. And there is one oxygen. Now, if you look at the products uh, and how many ammonium ions would there be in ammonium cyanate if you look at the products although there are two nitrogens but there are only four hydrogens so you can only make one ammonium ion so so using two nitrogens and four hydrogens so you can only make one ammonium ion so so this ammonium ion in this uh, formula of ammonium cyanate there, there's only going to be one ammonium ion in it so if we remove one ammonium so that's four hydrogens gone one of the nitrogens is gone you're left with c o n n which basically means that this X over here, uh, let's rub that X off. So this means that this X over here is uh, would contain one carbon, it's going to contain one nitrogen and it's going to contain one oxygen for a balanced reaction because the number of atoms over here in the product should be the same as the number of uh, atoms in the reactant. So if we have one ammonium, that's one N gone, four of the hydrogens gone, so you can only make, come up with one ammonium. And you're left with N, 1C, and 1O. So the other substance, cyanate, would be would be something having one carbon, one nitrogen, one oxygen. And we need to figure out the charge on this thing. So if the ammonium has plus one charge, so if the charges are balanced, then the C and O should have a minus one charge because the ammonium is having plus one charge. So this cyanate is going to be CNO minus one, which is going to be option. E